Hi guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Today we have the Cooler Master Master Air MA624 Stealth Cooler. Design dual tower heatsinks, six heat pipes in total, and 160 mm height. All in all, this is a massive cooler with great looks. Total weight is 1.62 kilos. Yeah, it is quite heavy. There is no RGB lighting, which is no problem for me. Absolutely no problem. Cooling fans, two. Sickle flow, as Cooler Master calls them, 140 mm fans, one 120 mm fan uh, optional. I will talk about this fan later. All fans are PWM controlled. About the smaller fan now, the 120 mm. This is for enhanced RAM clearance. You have to remove the 140 mm fan from the bracket and install the smaller one if you have a RAM with tall heatsinks. Fun mean time to failure, meaning the mean time to failure for the fans. 160,000 hours, this is too much. According to Cooler Master, these fans use a rifle bearing which is very hard to achieve so many hours without any failure unless you operate them at absolutely optimal conditions. Socket compatibility, all popular Intel and AMD sockets excluding AMD's TR4 platforms. Intel's HEDT systems are supported. Price, 90 euros. Yep, it's expensive. Warranty, 5 years. Who it refers to? enthusiast users. What is included in the box mounting hardware for the Intel and AMD sockets? There's a two-way PWM splitter cable for the pair of 140mm fans. Lastly, in the box you will also find a thermal paste tube and a backplate for both Intel and AMD systems. Build quality and external design. Build quality is high and the top aluminum shroud looks great and it isn't a fingerprint magnet. Moreover, the black color makes this huge cooler look smaller. Installation video. We shot a video to show you the installation process. Uh, installation is easy once you modify the bracket according to your socket. The center fan is also integrated, meaning one installation step fewer for you. The problem is that there is no room for RAM modules with tall head speeders if you install the 140mm fan at the front side. Only low profile dims are compatible with this fan. You should use the 120mm fans instead for tall dims or install the large fan on the cooler's back side if the VRMs have normal height heatsinks. Testing methodology. I use a fully automated custom-made CPU cooler testing station that can apply any load from 1W up to 500W. At the same time, the fan speed can change automatically so many test scenarios can be applied without having to supervise the whole procedure, which can last for several hours. Finally, I only take into account the delta differences between the CPU's block and the ambient temperature in my lab where the test system is installed, and I call this CPU cooler testing station Jalapeno. Thermal performance, full fan speed comparison delta. With 400 watt load, it goes very well, the cooler, sticking close to the mighty Noctua D15. With 500 watt, the gap with the D15 gets notable to almost 4 degrees. Thermal performance, 30 dBA comparison delta. 
With uh, 30 dBA, because this cooler cannot uh, go up to 35 dBA, which is good, of course. Uh, I have all fans on all coolers in this chart outputting 30 dBA, so the comparison is fair. The large cooler master shows its teeth, still D15 achieves half a degree lower temperature with 400 watt load. With 200 watt now, the Master Air smokes the competition, scoring the same temperature with the NGXT Kraken Z63. Noise output, fan speed percentage and RPM. The maximum speed of the fans is around 400 RPM as in the official specs and the output noise is 32.2 dBA while CM states 27 dBA in the product specs. Noise output and fan noise comparison at full fan speed. This is not a noisy cooler with almost 2 dBA difference with the D15, uh, which uses two fans as well. The difference with the single fan D15S is only half dBA. This is nothing. Noise output, uh, fan noise comparison 70%. With the fans spinning at 70% speed, the Master Air Cooler is dead silent. Time to steady state. The cooler doesn't take much time to reach a steady state. The Noctua D15 reaches a steady state at an even lower time. Relative performance, full fan speed on Jalapeno. The difference with the Noctua D15 is 3% with full fan speed. So it is not that high, given that the latter is probably the best air cooler in terms of performance that money can get you today. Performance per DBA, full fan speed on Jalapeno, the Master Air achieves a notable win over its major opponent, the Noctua D15. Performance per dollar, full fan speed. The price is high, but thanks to the good performance, it manages to take the lead from the D15. Bottom line, the Cooler Master Master Air MA624 Stealth is a huge cooler offering decent RAM clearance thanks to the extra provided 120mm fan and the height adjustment of the mechanism that holds the fan. You can also use only the center fan and install either the 140mm or the 120mm fan to the exhaust of your chassis. I know that performance will take a hit, but at least you have this option if your RAM modules are too tall. Performance-wise, the Master Air is close to the Noctua D15 while costing almost the same. 
with the plain D15 and notably less than the D15 Chromax Black. Given the nice black finish of the Master Air, the D15 Chromax Black is the direct competitor and not the plain D15 which is not among the best looking air coolers. If your chassis is large enough to accommodate the Master Air, I would say go for it. It is a nice product offering alternative options for taller dim modules and its installation is a piece of cake. Pros, high performance, silent operation, quality fans, PWM splitter included in the bundle, great finish and looks, high build quality, integrated 120mm fan for enhanced RAM compatibility, straightforward installation, 5 year warranty. Cons, expensive, huge dimensions and not compatible with AMD Thread Reaper sockets. Another review by Hardware Busters International. Uh, like, comment and subscribe to our channel please. Take a look at our Patreon page if you want to support us. Until the next video, bye bye.